Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Hoku Marketing, and today I wanted to share and put together a quick tutorial on how to add a, a tab on your Facebook page to collect email addresses for your constant contact uh, email lists. So you're going to need a couple of things. One, you need to uh, be at your Facebook page and you need to be the admin because you're going to need to access uh, some areas. And also, you're going to need to be logged into your constant contact account as I am here. And we'll start here. So once you're into your constant contact account, you'll see your menu items across the top. Go ahead and click on sign up forms and you'll get to the screen that I'm at right now. now you might have some forms listed here, um, but either way, you're going to end up going down here, down to the right, and you're going to click on the Facebook Join My List app. You go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> That's going to pull up this screen here. Almost looks like an ad or something that you can't click on, but if you hover over the Add App button, you can. So go ahead and click Add App. So now it's asking you if you want to add a page tab. A page tab is the menu items down the left-hand side of your Facebook page, and I'll show that to you a little later on. But for right now, you're going to click this drop-down menu, Facebook Pages, and it'll show all the pages that you're an admin for. And you can select the one that you want to add the Constant Contact uh, link to. So I'm going to click Hoku Marketing, and then we're going to click Add Page Tab. So it pulls up nice work. Of course, we have a few more steps to go. We're going to go to Facebook, click on that. So now you're back at your Facebook page, and it's taking you to your pages. So select the page that you want the Constant Contact app to be synced with. And it takes you back to your main Facebook page. Now, along the left-hand side here, this is those tabs that I was telling you about. And you may have different ones showing, and you may not have a See More. But either way, there'll be a list over here. So in this case, I'm going to click the See More tab, and it's going to show all the options. Let me just move my video screen up here. If you scroll through all of these tabs, you'll see at the bottom is the Join My List tab. So that's what you just added. So go ahead and click on that, and you'll be presented with this. You're almost there. So now we want to connect this with the Constant Contact account. And that's going to pull up this screen here, which you may not be able to see in this video recording because it has login and password information, um, but I'll describe it to you. It's a pop-up window, and it has your login and password fields for constant contact. So it'll either be auto-populated or you can put that in and just kick, click the bright yellowish-orange button that says login. Once you're logged in, it's going to hit you with this big message, allow access, question mark. And there's a bright yellowish orange button that says allow. Go ahead and click that. All right, so now I'm back at my page. I've given authorization for that to connect. And what we're looking at right now is this bottom section here is this is what your customer um, or the person signing up for your email list is going to see when they're on your page. So there is an option to customize, and I do recommend it, especially if you want to keep your branding and, and make a few changes. So let's do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and click <clears throat> Customize. So the first thing you're presented with is which list do you want these people who sign up to go to? Now, if you want, you can go into Constant Contact and create a list, maybe Facebook sign up form, or put them in a different list. But for now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to show general interest. So anybody who signs up through my Facebook account, uh, Facebook page, is going to go into that list. The sign-up form has two pages. The first page is where we're gathering their information. And the second page is where we're thanking them for signing up. So on page one, on the very top, you have an option to add an image. Um, recommend it. Let's definitely brand our image. So I'm going to go ahead and upload an image real quick here. I'm in my logos. I'll just select that. And you can see already <clears throat> just how nice that is. And it automatically drops it on the second page as well. So we're going to leave that there. Uh, join our mailing list. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can leave it like that, change it, personalize it. 
Um, maybe uh, you're not giving out news. Maybe you're giving out uh, tips or, or menu items or something else. So you can make that change there as well. Very simple, and I think that's the way you should keep it. Email address, it's required, first name, last name, and then they click join my email list. So once you've made those changes, <clears throat> you can um, go ahead and uh, click the save changes button. Okay. And so when someone clicks the join my list, this is what they're going to be presented with. Very simple, very clean. Enter their email, first name, last name, and join the list. Okay, so you're you're for now, you're you're pretty much done. I mean, that button is on there and they're now synced. But there's one more thing I'd like to show you. And I don't know if you remember earlier, the <clears throat> had the see more button over here, and all of these items were hidden. So if you want to get your join my list button to show up towards the top up here where home and services are. I'm gonna show you how to move that around. So if you're an admin, you're gonna be presented with this at the top of your page. So you can click settings. You're gonna click on the templates and tabs button. If you scroll down, you're gonna see all the tabs that are showing up on the left-hand side and towards the bottom is the join my list. So let's go ahead and move that up. I'm going to put it as a second item. You'll notice the home tab, you cannot move it around, but all the other ones you can. Okay, there's no save on this. Go back to your page and you'll see the join my list is now right at the top. Easy for people to uh, sign up and join your email list. Okay, if you got any questions or you run into any problems with this, you can email me or message me through Facebook. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.